Welcome to the seven and a half floor of the Merton Flummer Building. As you'll now be spending your workday here, it is important that you learn a bit about the history of this famous floor. Hello, Don. Hello, Wendy. Don, I was wondering, do you know why our workplace has such low ceilings? It's an interesting story, Wendy. Many years ago, in the late 1800s, James Merton, an Irish ship captain, came to this town and decided to erect an office building. He called this building the Merton Flimmer Building, after himself and someone else who local legend has it was named Flimmer. Well, one day, old Captain Merton received an unexpected visitor. Captain Merton? I would want you get a child. I'm not a child, but rather an adult lady of miniature proportions. Well, see. Well, if it's charity you're after, be gone with you, you foul demon. I'm not asking for alms, Captain, but rather the ear of a kind man with a noble heart. Well, speak then if you must. Captain Merton, I'm afraid that the world was not built with me in mind. Doorknobs are too high, chairs are unwieldy, and high ceiling rooms mock my stature. Why cannot there be a place for me to work in safe and comfortable? The story has moved me like the other. Therefore, I shall make ye <coughs> me wife. And, and I shall build a floor for ye between the, between the seventh and the eighth in my own building. So at least there'll be one place on God's green earth where ye and your accursed kind can live in peace. So that's the story of seven and a half. Since the rents are considerably lower, this floor has been adopted by businesses which for one reason or another have been forced to cut corners. After all, the overhead is low. Ha, 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 ha.